and welcome. My name is Steven with the Tech Monkey, and today we're going to be reviewing the XPG Battle Cruiser Super Mid Tower chassis. Whatever a Super Mid Tower chassis is, we're going to find out. Quick five minute video. No BS, I'm reviewing it and learning along with you. XPG's Battle Cruiser, tempered glass all the way around, thumb screws holding everything on. Biggest drawback we've found. These are super short thumb screws on the top holding on the glass, meaning they barely thread in. Hopefully that'll be fixed. They have the new XPG2 launching at Computex here in the next day or two. Magnetic top filters. Plenty of room for fans on the top, which is great. It has room and clearance for standard fans because it does not have enough room up top for a motherboard clearance. So no top mount radiators, sorry back tempered glass and then of course front tempered glass which we almost broke many times because for some reason these are those really short thumb screws that are plastic um, super simple fix but also frustrating front tempered glass Magnetic dust filter includes three RGB fans in the front, one in the rear, 120 millimeter. Um, hard drive caddy on the bottom tray for full size hard drive or SSD. Another SSD caddy on the side right here, which can be removed. Also, it does have airflow on the bottom power supply shroud, so you can actually put in uh, power supply similar to the Asus ROG Strix, which has the LED readout on the side because it pulls air from the top instead of the bottom. Dust filter on the bottom, slides out. Some things we do like, some things we don't. Um, I love the clearance on the top. Um, I do love the removable caddies for your hard drives. I do like the fact that they include four RGB fans. Um, more in the back, you have two of the slide-in style, almost magazine clip-in style SSD caddies. Another issue or thing that's nice, uh, we do have some really nice rubber grommet pass-throughs, which are actually full size. They're not little guys that pop out, at least on these. They're full size, they pass through the whole thing. Um, another thing we really like is the fact that the uh, IO shields come out and there's no bar in the middle, meaning some cases have a bar when you remove these, those will not allow a vertical GPU mount as easily. Um, so if you remove these, there's no bar in the middle, which is nice. Another thing that is quite nice is the panel gap. There is a lot of panel gap for airflow. Um, so you have, I have to hold that on play and on by hand. You have finger width panel gap on, on the front here, both sides. You have a nice panel gap. The magnetic top filter is nice. The filters everywhere are nice. All right, the things we don't like. Um, no removable power supply shroud. You can't slide the power supply in and out. Um, it has to be installed in here. And that's a little frustrating. Another thing we don't like is there's no rubber feet for the power supply to sit on. No anti-vibration rubber feet. And then of course, um, we don't like the thumb screws for the front panel, um, but short of that, very nice case, uh, MSRP's 150. Um, the new Battle Cruiser 2 is coming out here at uh, Ta Taipei, Taiwan, Computex. So we should see the new one being launched in a couple days. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, my corrections, because five minutes is fast and I did that in one take. Or, yeah, one take. Three pin RGB, yay, three pin fans. Boo, two USB 3.0s. 
Why they made two 3.0s, I don't know. Because there's only uh, two 3.0 on top. I, I don't know why they have a 3.0 cable for each one. I'm confused. I don't see anything else anywhere. Um, also, there is a bracket for the power supply. So that makes it easy because you can just slide in a power supply in the back, pull it out for cable management. You also have two three and a half inch and stickers. That's leet, yo.